so today I'm talking about a GMC or Chevy P0449 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0449 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission vent solenoid valve control circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back up to the engine to get burnt off so that the gas vapors don't escape into the atmosphere. This is for emissions, and the onboard computer is seeing a problem inside of this, and so it's going to have to be troubleshooted. No why. And so what are some possible causes? Well, it could be a bad gas cap, could be the vent valve, could be in the wiring, could be the fuel tank pressure sensor, could be the charcoal canister, there could be an evap leak, and possibly the purge valve, although usually if the purge valve goes bad, you're going to get another code. And so the basics of what's going on inside of the EVAP system is that you're going to have gas vapors and they're going to leave the gas tank. They're going to go through a hose and go over to what's called the charcoal canister. And this is basically like storage for the gas vapors. And either on or near the charcoal canister is going to be the vent valve. Very commonly, the vent valve is located on the charcoal canister, but it can be separate. And so keep that in mind. It's going to depend on the GMC and the Chevy and the year and things like this. And then the gas vapor is going to leave the charcoal canister. They're going to go up to the top of the engine to what's called the purge valve. And the purge valve basically opens when the engine's running so the gas vapors could go in and get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape. A lot of people get this purge valve and vent valve mixed up. And while they're both just solenoids that open and close, they do different things. So be sure not to get these mixed up. The purge valve is going to be up on top of the engine and the vent valve is going to be down near the charcoal canister or right on it. And so the first thing to go and do when you get this code is go check your gas cap because it is a part of the EVAP system. It needs a seal in order for everything to work correctly. And so it might be good, but go and check it out. Be sure it's not cracked, damaged, that it looks like it's sealing correctly and things like this. And so if that gas cap looks good, then the next thing to go and check out is going to be this vent valve. And so the vent valve can be located on the charcoal canister, which is going to be up underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere. And the vent valve is either going to be located right on the charcoal canister or it's going to be separate and off to the side somewhere. But the next thing to go and do is to locate the vent valve on your particular vehicle and either test it or replace it. Because this is going to be the most common problem with the P0449 code is that this vent valve is having a problem. It's either stuck open or stuck shut or it's just not responding. And one thing to keep in mind is to check out this wiring real good because anything wrong with the wiring is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad vent valve. So when you go to check out the vent valve, be sure to check out that wiring to be sure everything looks like it's good there too. And there's some different ways you can test the vent valve. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, quite often they have an option in there where you can enable or disable the vent valve and you can hear it click. Other people will take it out or put power on it and see if it clicks and things like this. So there's some different ways you go about testing it. But the next thing to do is either test or replace that vent valve. When you are checking out the vent valve, be sure to check out this charcoal canister too. Because if it's leaking or it's damaged or anything like that, then it can also cause issues. Some people, if they think that the vent valve went bad and it's located on the charcoal canister, they'll just replace the whole thing since the charcoal canister might be getting old anyways. But be sure to check out this charcoal canister. Be sure it has no damage like cracks or anything like that. And all these hoses are hooked up and all the wires going to it are hooked up and things like this. And so if the gas cap looks good, this vent valve tests good, and this charcoal canister is good, then the next things that could cause this problem is that there's like a leak somewhere inside of one of these hoses going around or this fuel tank pressure sensor has gone bad. If this fuel tank pressure sensor goes bad, then there might not be a problem inside the system, but the onboard computer thinks there is since that sensor is just sending out bad data. And the fuel tank pressure sensor can be located differently. Sometimes it's located on the charcoal canister. For example, this is a 2008 Chevy Cobalt and it's located right on the charcoal canister. Here's an example of a 2002 Chevy Suburban and the fuel tank pressure sensor is located on the fuel pump up on top of the gas tank. So again, it's going to vary a little bit. But keep in mind if that fuel tank pressure sensor goes bad, there might not be no problem in the system, but the computer thinks there is. And there can also be a leak inside of the system. This is very common. If you took it to a mechanic, one of the first things they would do is they use a smoke machine and they'd feed smoke into the EVAP system. And then wherever smoke come out, they would know that's a leaky spot and they'd be able to fix it. There's some low cost smoke machines on like Amazon or eBay and things like this. I'll put a link down below if you need to check one out. You can also make these up yourself for like five, ten dollars There's some good YouTube videos on how you can make a smoke machine up. But basically the next thing to do is to go around to all these hoses going around from the gas tank to the charcoal canister, all the way up to the top of the engine to the purge valve and things like this. And basically just see if any of these hoses broke off if they're cracked if they're damaged and just try to find any spot that might be leaking because that is a common problem and it causes issues is that there's a leak somewhere inside of the evap system and so that's basically it i just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a gmc or chevy p0449 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day